Hi there, Tim with Madrona Labs. Today we're going to be looking at the sequencer module in Kaivo. The sequencer is a very powerful control and trigger generator capable of creating sequences for pitch, timbre, I mean any anything that you can send an output to. So we have two groups of outputs that are different colors. The blue are the gate signals and then the red are the uh, you know CV or control signals. And what I really like about having uh, two of each signal is you can add these delays to them. So for instance, you can see these gate signals are in sync with each other, but as you add a delay, now you have two different gate signals coming out of here, and then you can do the same with the control signals. One thing to note about the delay controls for the gate and the control outputs, these are calibrated in steps. So they don't set fixed time in between events, but fixed offsets within the sequence. And this maintains the musical relationship they have with each other if you are modulating the rate. And so they, they vary from zero to eight in increments of 0.5. And if you want finer precision, uh, then you can hit shift and then you can change these in smaller increments down to 0.1 step. There's also a glide parameter to add some slew to your sequence. You can set the clock to be internal, so you can control your rate here, and that's you know independent of your DAW and everything else. Um, however, you can also click this button and get it to be controlled by your DAW. You also have a steps dial here, so you can go up to 16 steps. There's also this loop button here, so when that is enabled, the sequence will just repeat and play on and on, and if that's turned off, then it will only play the number of steps that you have selected here, um, and then won't play that sequence again until triggered. One thing that's really cool about the clock here is you'll notice that if it's set to internal, then you have rate, which is in Hertz. But if you go to host, then we can do uh, divisions or multiplications of that clock. And of course you can send control signals to the clock's input to change the speed as you are playing. Something to note here about the rate and the steps is it may seem like the rate control can only go up to 13.75 hertz, which is not enough to create an audio rate signal, but this is actually just the rate at which the 16 step cycle repeats. So the duration of each stays the same when you change the number of steps. So if you set it to eight, the sequence can repeat twice as fast. So in this case, it would be 27.5 hertz. And if you set the steps to two, you get a two-step sequence repeating at 110 hertz. And then we have the offset, and this moves the starting point of the sequence up one, every time you go up one. The next up we have this width control. This controls the pulse width of the gate signal outputs. The range control multiplies the sequencer's control output by positive or negative value uh, calibrated in semitones. So you can go negative 48 all the way up to positive 48 with a default of positive 12. Then there's the quantize button here. So this is really useful if you say want to control the pitch of the granulator with your MIDI controller, but the resonator and body uh, pitch control you want to come from the sequencer. If this quantize button is on, now they're all in sync with each other. Then of course we have these blue square buttons here. These are the on off buttons for each step within the sequence. And then their corresponding red blinking lights above just tell you when each step is happening. And finally, we have preset waveforms here. We have a square, a sign, a ramp, and then we have a random. These are momentary buttons. Just hit them once and they will change the uh, shape of the sequence into the shape of that wave. And then if you hit the question mark, this will randomize your sequence. A great use case for these is, you know, if you want to use the sequencer as a glorified LFO generator, then you have these shapes to choose from, and then you can get these random shapes as well. We have our red columns here. This is where you set the output value for the red outputs down here. One thing that's really cool about this is you can left click to set your value, and if you uh, leave that left click pressed, you can drag it around and essentially draw your own waveform. 
All right, now that we have covered all of the different functions and controls for the sequencer module, let's just hear it in action really quick before we end this video. I'm not gonna go into too great of detail because obviously I'm using a bunch of stuff we haven't covered yet in the Kaibo video series, but this will be a good little representation of how you can use the sequencer to trigger and control different modulation sources as well as your different sound sources. So just starting out, we have just the granular Later. I've got the resonator and the body volume turned down. So what we're going to be hearing is the sine wave and the granulator being controlled pitch wise by the key module and the gate will be hitting the first envelope which opens up the low pass gate here or VCA or level control for the granulator. So this is what that sounds like. So right now we're not really using the sequencer module. But as I turn up the resonator, you'll notice that I've got a pitch output coming from the sequencer into the pitch in for the resonator, and then some control voltage sources that are all being influenced by the sequencer. Notice if I turn off the quantizer, it doesn't sound so great note-wise, but if I hit that quantizer, snaps it back into place. And then I've got the uh, other sequencer output going into the pitch control of the body. So we'll bring that up in the mix. So now we have three different melodies and a bunch of different timing events right now that are all in sync with each other time-wise and in the same key. Because I have the quantize button on, the sequencer selected and the host button um, is selected within the sequencer as well. And now I've got a four to one multiplication. So if I can bring this down, I can get some divisions. Going forward, I plan on using this patch and this sequence to build upon to show you how all of this other stuff works. And the next video will be the LFO 2D. So let's just actually get a sneak preview on what that can do. Right now, you'll notice its rate is just going at whatever I set this rate knob at. So it is not linked to the sequencer or the key module. I can hit quantize here and make these outputs fit this key. So you can use them for pitch, but again, we'll talk about that later. But before we go, let's just look at sending a reset in here just to give it a little bit of a clock. You can already hear the, uh, the piece of music has changed. Let's really change it by sending this X output into the host ratio CV input. All right, this has been our sequencer module demo video for Kaivo. If you have any questions or want to check out more great products from Madrona Labs, check out the link in the video description and stay tuned for an upcoming video about the LFO 2D module. Thank you so much for watching.